Hey everybody, today we're here with the most popular frozen pizza in the U.S., DiGiorno's Rising Crust. Uh, they're the most popular because they have the most uh, unique marketing. You know, everybody knows if it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno's. DiGiorno's is made by Nestle Corporation. We got the, today we got the ultimate pepperoni, the new ultimate pepperoni rising crust from DiGiorno's. So it has pepperoni from edge to edge, or from crust to crust, so they say. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot and see how it tastes. Okay, so let's open this up, see what it looks like. Okay, it comes in like a, a plastic bag kind of kind of deal, a little different than the freshetta was more of like a sealed bag, a sealed thing. This is a, a bag, but you know, it's a good looking pizza. Feel, I feel like it's a little thinner than the freshetta rising crust, but there's a good amount of cheese on there. Pepperonis look good. I don't know what makes it, you know, ultimate pepperoni. It looks like pretty standard amount of pepperoni. So we'll see what it looks like once we get it in the oven and cook it all up. Yep, that looks pretty good. All right, so the bag opens up real nice and easy. So that's one thing that's kind of nice. You don't need scissors or anything on that. Let's see, is there any cardboard? No cardboard. Got to be careful if you have that cardboard on there. I've done that. And when I was younger, I have a cardboard on the bottom of the pizza, forget about it, and then you put it right on there. So we're going to put it in the oven for a few minutes to get those pepperonis to loosen up. So we just move the pepperonis around after it's been in the oven for a few minutes. And this one actually has enough where there's four slices of pepperoni per slice. So six times four, there's 24 pepperonis on this ultimate pepperoni pizza, which normally there's 18. So there's six more on the DiGiorno ultimate pepperoni. All right, pizza's done. Let's go ahead and get it out of the oven. You can see that looks pretty good. It rised up real well. I'm going to get some good shots of it here. Oh, that rised up more than the freshetta rising crust for sure. So you can see this DiGiorno's rising crust, it really rose quite a bit. It's definitely, definitely higher than the, the freshetta one we had a few weeks ago. So it's definitely a good looking pie. Caden was talking about how good it smells. He can't wait to give it a shot and try it out. And then those extra pepperonis on there, but it's a good looking pie. There's a reason why DiGiorno's is the number one seller. God, look how thick that is, dude. That's a thick pizza. Yep, that's pretty thick, thick. Like it comes up so high on my pizza cutter. It looks like there's a decent amount of sauce on there too. I can see the sauce coming on out. Could use a little more cheese, but good amount of sauce, so that's good. Look at that thickness on that DiGiorno, that crust. Nice rising crust and good amount of sauce. Can't wait to try this pizza out. All right, the best selling frozen pizza in the world. DiGiorno rising crust. Yep, let's see how it is. Definitely looks good. I, I like the amount of sauce. Mm, that's pretty good. That's really good. I like that. Yeah, that is pretty good. It's been a long time. I had DiGiorno's when it first came out, you know, back in the 90s. I was looking, it said DiGiorno as a company came out in 91 and it started with uh, pastas and sauces. And then in 95, they started making pizzas. So I think I had DiGiorno sometime in the you know mid to late 90s. I'm, I remember it being okay, but man, this is pretty good. In 2010, Kraft, uh, Kraft who owned DiGiorno sold it to Nestle. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of there was definitely a lot of pepperonis. The one thing that there's a lot of, there's definitely a lot of thickness. In definitely a lot of thickness, yeah. You gotta like thick pizza if you're gonna get this. I definitely like cooking it on the pan better than just putting it on a screen or something. Give it a little, a little softer. You still get a decent amount of crispness to the crust. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a solid frozen pizza. The good thing is, is you know, you're getting a decent amount for your money because it is so thick that, you know, if you have a thin crust, you're going to be able to eat a lot more of it. This one, you're only going to have, you know, two or three slices, and you're going to be good. Yep, this is probably oh. one of the thickest pizzas I've seen. There's, mm -hmm. There hasn't been any pizza that's really thicker than this one. I would say this is the thickest one we've had. So even though there are more pepperonis, the pepperonis themselves are, are pretty thin. So they're not like super thick pepperonis. So you can kind of see... Those pepperonis are, are not super thick, so it's nice that you get more of them, but they cut them, they cut them real thin. But like I said, you got the 24 pepperonis versus 18, which is the normal. 
it's nice that there's a decent amount of sauce on there. When, when the frozen pizza is too dry, I just don't like it near as much. So it's good they put a good amount of sauce on there. You can see the bottom of that pizza looks pretty good. It's got a good, good structure to that crust. For pizza, we're going to give the DiGiorno Rising Crust Pizza a 7.4. It, it's a very tasty pie. I love the, they put a decent amount of sauce on there and the sauce has got a really good flavor to it. It'd be nice if they put a little more cheese on there. The pepperonis are good. Like I said, they're a little thin, but the amount of them, is, it still tastes pretty good. So I would definitely, if I had my choice between Freshetta Rising Crust and DiGiorno, I'm gonna go DiGiorno Rising Crust. For value, we're gonna give the DiGiorno an 8.5. We were able to find it for 477. They had it for a Super Bowl special, so, under five bucks for a pizza like this, that's pretty good because, you know, me, Caden, and Avery can all have two slices and, you know, we're, that's, we're pretty good for dinner on that. So, you know, 477 for dinner for three of us is, is pretty darn good. So for our running rankings, we got Lytle at the bottom, the Take and Bake, Newman's Own Thin and Crispy, One Bite, Surfer Boy, Freshetta, Rising Crust, DiGiorno Rising Crust above that Freshetta, Wild Mike's, which was a great new one that we found and we tried last week connie's pizza and then red baron at the top so that's our running list thanks for watching please like and subscribe and have a great day